Hi everyone, impromptu live, uh, and it is not on epoxy. I'm sorry, this is Michelle at Serendipity House. Uh, the paint pour from yesterday is still wet and still drying, but it looks good. It's not doing what the other one did, uh, so I'm happy. So I'm working all weekend in the store, so I will be actually doing the epoxy coat on that piece on Monday, and I will share it when I do. So what I'm doing here is skipping around doing a whole bunch of different projects, um, but I just started to put the black wax on my multi-drawer unit here to seal it and see all those little speckles. I thought maybe you'd want to see how to do that because that's the reason I create the texture in the first place. So I've only done one drawer and I just saved the rest for you guys. Hi Stephanie, how are you? Hi Sue. What's everybody up to today? So the, the chest is right here, this little chest, and um, we're gonna make all of the texture kind of pop out of it. So I did, let's see, last week on my page, I started it with salt wash, and then on the IOD page this week, I did uh, the stamping on it, and now we're gonna seal it, and I'm gonna bring it into um, my shop tomorrow. So um, I've already put clear wax on it. We're gonna just do the dark wax, the black wax now, the black. We're going for black gray. Hi, Lisa. How are you? Hi, Renee. Okay, so I already clear wax. So here's drawer two and you can see, so all the, all the gray that's on it now, that's all the ink, the ink pad. I really went to town after my live went off. I just like kept stamping that. So um, all around the edges, it's the gray ink, and then um, the pieces of the Bohemia stamp in here. And I feel like when it's together, it looks balanced now. Hi, Carol. Hi, Jenny. Ah, cool and rainy. I know. It's, it's one of those days where if I didn't have so much to do here in New Hampshire, it's like I'd want to be reading a book, which then would just mean like taking a nap, I think. <laughs> I mean, let's be real. My eyelids would be going. Um, all right, so I'm going to shoot you down here and try not to make a mess. I'm also painting a lamp base and sealing a stool. It's like a finish some projects day right here. Okay, so. All right, so important to clear wax this first because I'm going to be putting a lot of the black wax on here because I don't know if you can see like all this pitting and that's from the salt wash and I want all my black wax to sit right down in there. So um, I'm just using a chip brush for this with my black wax and the reason is, is I'm gonna really just pounce it in. I have nice brushes for nice smooth coat but um, I don't wanna ruin them because this technique means that I really am going to, where I want the wax to land is like down in those pitted spots. So don't worry, that is not gonna stay all covered up. That's why we clear waxed first. Who else is a waxer? What are you doing to enjoy this uh, cool and rainy day, Stephanie? Are you reading and napping? <laughs> or is that just my fantasy? All right. I want it down into all those little nooks and crannies. My wax, I mean, my ink has dried. What's today? Wednesday I inked it. I love this, you guys. This, the finishing details are just like my favorite part. All right, so it's, it's gonna wipe all off the top. It's coloring it some, but it's not wiping all, it's not um, staying that black because of the... Now, can you see all of those little speckles and how they turned black? They make it look aged. This will get a final buff later once it dries, really. But you can see my swirls in the paint. So many people try to avoid texture, but I, or brush strokes, I love it. I just add it more, more, more. So this piece is going to end up pretty grungy and gray looking and not the white that we started with. And you can see the blue that was the salt wash peeking through the bottom. Blanket on the couch with my boys, nice. All right, so look, let's get a nice before of that, of this pitting in here. See it all? Maybe. 
Here we go. Well, I this morning got out all of the, the end of my packages for everybody who had ordered the new transfers. Um, it took me three days to pack them all up. So everybody's orders are out. And just getting ready to what I hope is gonna be a busy weekend in the shop and trying to get some things together to bring in. This one will be ready, but the, like, like I said a minute ago, the other table that needs epoxy, not quite ready. I was hoping to have it, but I'd rather have it done correctly. And so it'll just go in on Monday. Do, do, do. All right, that is a hot mess. If you left that on there, it would be really hard to wipe off, like if you came back tomorrow. So we're gonna do all this at once. And I've got a big thing of shop rags down here because you'll end up using a lot. All right, so where I want it, the left. Oh. Ooh. How exciting. This one isn't as cool as the other one that I did, the other small dress chest. I could have spent a little bit more time, but this doesn't have a bottom, so it, I didn't put casters on it. The other one was a little, it was just different, but it was a little cooler because it had casters and it was more kind of industrial looking. All right, now there's the after. Oh, yum, 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 yum. I got my shipment this morning. Can't wait to get your transfers. Yes, uh, I don't remember if you're two days or three, but man, I <laughs> hope it, hopefully it'll get there within that time anyways, because UPS, or US, um, USPS actually, has been, um, this one's got a lot more blue, which is one of the reasons why I wanna go over the whole thing with the black. Um, I have some packages that have been arriving like a day or two early and others that uh, have, you know, since COVID, they, they go lost and all of a sudden it's like the tracking stops and three weeks later they just show up. It's very frustrating. I'm not sure what's happening exactly. All right, so just pushing that right down into the details. This is DIY Black Wax. I've got it on my website. I've got little mini ones too, as well as the big 13 ounce ones. So if you are afraid of wax, stick with me because it's one of my favorite things. These are a few of my favorite things. All right, get a fresh cloth. And when this buffs, it'll have a, you know, the more you buff it, the more of a sheen you get. I'll just do like a really like sparse sheen on it, just a light sheen. Um, and it is like just smooth as butter. It'll be more so after I buff it, but look at the difference. This is a little weird because of the, it, it was, uh, the wood is showing through there. It kind of messes up with the four, but. All right, now we gotta do the body. And then here's the other thing that I like the drawers one and four have the same amount of black wax. I'm so bad at that when I am um, when I'm working around a whole piece with color. So many times the color's not it's not balanced because as I kept going, I got kind of heavy, heavy handed. That happens on all, all the time with my stuff. But before I finish any piece, I, I put it back together anyways, and then I can just go over it and wipe touch up little spots to make sure they're even. Ooh, I really, really love that. Love it. Um, yes, I did use clear wax first, Michelle, always. If I didn't use clear wax first, this would really be soaking in. Um, but I can take off as much as I want because I clear waxed it. That really is um, the first time I ever used brown wax. I didn't do that. And it was such a mess. I should probably do the. All right, I'm running out of room. I real. Let me move the camera back a little bit so you guys can see what this is instead of a big white blob. But this is, this is the side of the uh, little bureau or little dresser thing. Now, flat surfaces are a little harder to do, but 
Um, I'm gonna do kind of an even amount over the whole thing really quick. And then wherever I see that there's that pitting, I am just working it right into that. See what I'm doing? I'm, I'm really beating my brush up. This is the reason. And actually when you go over it the first time, it's the white pitting is, white, is not catching the wax. So you can see where you need to really rub in. But this is why you use a crappy brush because I'm really beating these bristles up. And I'm just gonna throw this away after because they're like a buck a brush. Do a nice even wipe. Just get off the additional amount. Comes off pretty easily because I've cleared clear wax. Now I used I use like old t-shirts for this too or cheesecloth, but the thing of it is is I use so many that I run out, and that's why I um, buy the big box of cloths. Now this, I'm going to just keep rubbing and buffing with the flat surface. I'm going to, I'm really putting some elbow grease in here to buff it. But you can see the pit marks, right, right in here and the blue. I didn't turn my light on today because of the weird, I have a ring light, but I did not turn it on because of the weird way it tries to focus. I've been having issues with that, but all right. So let's turn it over to the other side and you'll probably see the difference right away. Yep, see how white and blue that is? And then the pitting right here, Ooh, that is what we're gonna pick up right here. Hi, Patricia. Let's do that one spot just so you can see the difference side by side. All right, see what that does? So it's kind of coloring a little bit my, my paint, but that black, those speckles. I, um, I am not, I don't like like things that look new even new things, I, I, I just kind of like the character and for things to look well-loved and worn, except for my clothes, I guess. But for furniture, I like creating all this. Um, I, clear, Lisa, I clear wax this about a half an hour before I came on live, just a little bit ago. I didn't, I don't wait long and I didn't put much on either. Oh, I think I just, Flicked a chunk of wax onto my shirt. I guess that's why I wear t-shirts here. Now probably the shading that I did around the edges with it with the ink, it's not going to show up as much because I'm going over it with this, but I kind of do it as I go and I wasn't sure what I was going to do, so I just did the ink and then I'm just, I can see some of the spots that are still white. Okay, and a nice clip. This seems wasteful, it's like wipe on, wipe off, but there's really no other way to do it, especially if you're trying to fill those holes up. going in little circles so I don't get any lines if I wipe too much. Now, if I want to go back, if, if I have too much on here and I want to go in and wipe some off, 
I could take a little bit of my clear wax and it would completely erase this. Like it would be back to the way it was before. Look at all this, so that's brush strokes. And it's all gonna come together when it's done. Let me just get the front and then we'll put the drawers in and see how it all looks. I know this part's kind of ugly. What would you use this for? What would you market this as? I'm not, I'm gonna just set it up in my store, but I'm always thinking about like how I wanna stage things. Um, it's only about two feet high. Oops, I didn't get the bottom there, which kind of looks like another drawer when it's in. I just don't know. It's like too small to be like lingerie. I didn't put it on wheels, so it can't be like, um, I don't know. I guess I say like somebody will figure it out, but so many times um, people, you kind of have to show them what it is because they don't really, they don't really know. Then they go, oh, I could use one of those. such a mess here on the floor. Sometimes I take a little brush if I if there are spots I didn't get like if I want to get like right in between one of these areas or a nail hole like there's little nail holes over here I could stick some purposefully right in there. All right. Let's set it up take a look at it. This is the other thing I'm doing. Look, I've got a lamp here and I'm pouncing paint on it, making texture. I have so many things going at once because everything needs to dry. Hi, Jean. How are you? We painters are not very environmentally cautious. I know that's why I use t-shirts and other things um but you know you can only use those so many times because if you're waxing you can't really throw that stuff into your washer and you know you eventually you eventually run out of rags i do i you know if i do try to keep turning my cloth over and use it as much as possible and a couple of those will get used more with wax but you are very right. As much as we try to use like environmentally um, safe products and that kind of stuff, uh, there are other things that get wasted. What do you think? I think that came out super cute. It also looks kind of dark in here, but I am happy with the way this turned out. It was just an ugly brown chest to start and um, I think all the details on there really, really worked out. And you guys pretty much saw it start to finish too. I got to use the same knobs, which is cost effective. Thank you, Patricia. Oh, so I'm, I, I'm seeing this um, bring on camera thing again here. So yesterday, if you, I don't know if you watched or not, and I'm not even sure what happened with the video. So, but I did bring somebody up on camera and then um, on the replay, the video just ends right when I brought her up. So uh, it just abruptly ends. And so, um, yeah, I'm not gonna be doing that again unless I get Zoom or something else to incorporate in. But I would love to start bringing people up and doing like two people tutorials. Um, yes, it would be good on a desk for supplies or paper items. I might, maybe I, I sell rifle paper, so maybe I'll put some file folders in it or some notebooks, what kind of. Oh, I thought that was sanding dust, it's not, but um, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Um, all right, well, I will um, buff this probably in the morning. I'll get up early. If you guys are local, come see me at Bowerbird. I will be there Saturday and Sunday this week. Um, you wanna see the paint pour table? It's just drying, um, but it's wet to the touch. Oops, but it looks pretty good. And there's the rain outside. 
Um, I did kind of like the first one better, but you can't make it come out the same twice. Um, and I also, just for fun, I bought, a, I was at the hardware store um, getting some safety pins and I bought some Fluetterol. Fluetterol, I don't even know how to say it. Where's my bag? Um, anyways, I bought some of that because I think this week I am going to do another paint pour on, on a board or on something where it can, um, where it can flow right off the edges and show you guys what the difference is. And I feel like, for, for a little like pick me up and a boost I need to do that too because they're easier and it's easier to get cells and it's just if it just flows right off and runs instead of like staying thick and taking longer to dry so I want to show you guys um, how how to do that kind and that's definitely the way to start and not with a table that has the edges on them um, the <laughs> Lisa Lisa said she was thinking it was the perfect size to put her dog's clothes in because yes, he has that many. Love you, I'm a dog person too. My dog doesn't have clothes though. She would never stand for that. Um, we have a picture when she was, she's a yellow lab and we have a picture of Lola when the kids were dressed up as Halloween. I think they were, um, what did they dress her up as? Uh, Grayson was Princess Leia, and I don't remember what Eli was, but they tried to get her, Lola the dog, in the picture to pose with something, and she was having none of it. She's very suspicious. She wants out. So, all right, you guys, I am going to um, find somewhere to take pictures of this, and um, I will post them later on. Um, thanks for watching, uh, and I will uh, see you guys in a couple days. I might be busy and and uh, not too present for the next couple of days. But come see me at Bowerbird if you are around. Thanks, guys. Bye.